Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today. Thank you. Welcome to the show. On a Saturday afternoon, early in December 1967, a tragedy occurred which was to set in motion a chain of events that made world history. 24-year-old Denise Darvel was struck by a car and declared brain dead a few hours later. At 1 a.m. the following morning, Dr. Chris Barnard transplanted her heart into Louis Wyshkansky, a greengrocer from Seapoint whose heart had failed him. And the rest is, as we well know it, history. The indirect effects of our ability to transplant a heart, however, and to today do even more for sick hearts is that we have a false confidence in the medical fraternity's ability to save us. There's no doubt that they can. In fact, those who reach the emergency room have an excellent prognosis. Survival from a heart attack with modern treatment is over 90%, but almost half of all heart attacks today are fatal. Game over before anyone can help reach you. In South Africa, about 33 people die each day as a result of a heart attack. However, while surviving a heart attack is a victory in itself, it can take an enormous toll on your body, your wallet, and your life. We're joined by Henty van Veek, a life and wellness coach who has survived two heart attacks and a triple bypass by the age of 35, which you are now, Henty, not so? Yes, yes. So you had your first attack at 26. Yeah. Did that come as a surprise? Yeah, no, I've, you know, when you, you're young and you're fit and you're strong, Having a, a event like that in your life, it's really a setback. You, you really, it's, it's a shock, sure. you know. Especially at 26. Yeah, at 26. Yeah. At 35, you have a second heart attack. I mean, what, what thoughts are going through your mind? Because now you know what it feels like, and you must have known it's happening again. Yeah. What do you think? The feeling and, and what goes through your head is now I must uh, try to survive. And it's basically, it's like uh, in war, you, you fight, fight to, to survive. What does it feel like? I mean, medical literature describes a heart attack as, you know, this crushing uh, pressure on your chest, but you've had two. You describe it in your words. It feels like I'm holding onto electric wire, first of all, my right arm. It feels just like the shocks going through your arm. There's no oxygen coming to your lungs, so you really have to fight to, to breathe. Um, and also on your chest, it feels like your lungs are burning. It feels like somebody's putting coals on your chest. And your body really feels sick, your whole body. It really feels like life just draining out of your, your body. So I never no. want to go through that. No. You've done it twice. You talked about uh, the second time you knew what to do. So my question is, how did you survive? Were you close to help? Did you know to get help quickly? The second heart attack, um, I knew what happened. My wife, two o'clock in the morning, I said, I'm busy having a heart attack. Put me in the car, get me straight to the hospital. And my wife was uh, very cool headed. She took the kids, put them in the car, and they rushed to the hospital. hospital. Wow. And, and that was the, the main thing, is to get to the hospital as soon as you Quickly. can. Yeah, within the hour. Yes. I'm impressed with your wife. 15 minutes, if you 15 can. 15 minutes? Yeah, otherwise the muscle die. So here's a question for our audience. How can you tell if someone is having a heart attack? Because most lay people have no idea. So here's what we suggest. Look at the patient who's literally gone down. Look at their chest to see if it's rising and falling. If they are breathing, put them in a recovery position on their side and then call for help from the emergency services. If they're not breathing, they're probably in respiratory arrest. And the current advice states that in this situation, they're also likely to be in cardiac arrest when their heart has stopped beating effectively. And it's best to treat them as if they are in cardiac arrest arrest at that point, rather than waste valuable time trying to look for a pulse. So CPR should begin immediately on anyone who is unresponsive and not breathing normally, since even a delay of just a few minutes uh, spent looking for a pulse can have a very detrimental effect on the outcome. Remember to call for help immediately before you start uh, CPR. Complications that you now live with? Um, financially, it, it really sets you back. Um, I, I'm back into training again, I'm back into my sport, uh, but I need to pace myself and you always need to be careful um, what you do, especially with ec exercise. You talk about pacing yourself, let me ask you a really personal question, what about sex? I mean, is that a consideration now? I might have a heart attack. No. No look, laughing, yeah. no, this is a serious question. <laughs> I asked that uh, to the doctors plenty of time and... and okay. uh, this look, is our main no, thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> look, no, it's, uh, it doesn't, it didn't affect me, um, so uh, you, can, you, you can be normal and have a healthy sex life. Okay, well that's oh, good to know. Oh. You went on to actually achieve some sporting dreams despite having your first heart attack, which I have huge respect for. Oh. How did you do that? I believe it's part of my, my plan that God have, uh, gave me in life. Um, 
it's not because I'm special. I'm just fortunate, and uh, I've set my mind to to achieve those goals, and uh, and I did it. I achieved it, and um, again, faith and patience and everything. And if you love something, you will you will get it. That's fantastic. Now, most people are as they listen to you thinking, so why did he have these heart attacks? I mean, look at him. He looks better than most of we, do, you know, most of us do. So you have a family history of high cholesterol. Yes. In fact, you've lost both. I think your father passed away. My father recently. passed away yeah. three weeks ago. Yes. So. T explain this to me, Henty. I mean, you know you've got high cholesterol, and yet you say that heart attacks still came as a surprise. Yeah. There's something that you could have done to prevent it, but why don't we do that when we know we should? I don't know. I think it's uh, the flesh is weak, it's the indulgence of life, the pressure of life, um, the convenience of takeouts. You know, there's three things that you can control, and that is your, your exercise, um, I think also your, your diet. Um, I don't want to call it a diet, just have the healthy option. Don't That's go right. for a pie, go for a health sandwich, you know. So, um, but I think, I don't know, it's just the, the lifestyle we live. And, and my advice is just to have a, a balance in everything that you do. Henty's got two beautiful daughters. So here's my question to you, Henty. What are you doing now? actively to ensure that you see your daughters grow up? Um, well, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm getting back into training, make sure that I can uh, I can have a healthy uh, and balanced exercise plan. I'm, I'm coaching um, my sport also. Um, then, yes, your, your, the way you eat, the way I, I eat is, is very important. It's a, it's a battle because I'm Afrikaner, I love my dry flies and, and all <laughs> of, of that. Of course you do, yeah. Um, so it is a <laughs> battle. Be better, huh? Yes. Um, and yeah, my wife, she, she really is on my case, so she really controls what I'm eating and, and on my case the whole time. So for me, it's really important, as I say, medication. I'm, I'm on medication and the doctor monitor me at uh, all the time. Okay, so, so you're so, fully aware of what's going on in that yes, part of yours. Yes, no, absolutely. Henty, thank you for, again, just a candid description of what a heart attack is like. And I think for you and I, just a realization of this is real and can happen to anyone. You know, a heart attack is costly. It can set you back financially, as Henty said, and professionally. But the highest price of all is that it could cost you life. And your family pay that price. I often say to fellow fathers, imagine your daughter walking down the aisle on her wedding day, her proudest moment and you should have been at your side, but because of some poor lifestyle choices, you're not even there. Though some risk factors are out of control, by far the majority of all heart attacks are preventable. So be proactive and find out whether you're at risk and do something about it today. Look at Henty, he did. Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today.